Next on the ice, Olympic silver medalist Nancy Kerrigan. She would be the favorite for this event, but this is her first competition of the season, and she told us she's not really set for it. I feel like I'm not quite ready ever now because I'm, I don't train like I did before. I'm, it's hard to get the um, enthusiasm and um, push myself because I just feel like, well, to push <laughs> to do the competition. I've been doing this for 20 years, you know. <laughs> Kerrigan's priorities have changed. Last September, she was married to Jerry Solomon, and the two of them are business partners as well. Nancy was co-producer of her own Halloween special, which featured a look we're not used to seeing. She has other plans as well. There's more to life than skating, um, but I've known that since I was a little girl, and that's why I always took things one year at a time, because you never know what's going to happen. And, you know, I said since I was 10 years old, you know, I'm here... I always thought I was here so I could be a mom. And the, so I'm just like waiting and using my time skating till then. So I don't know when that will happen, God willing, but sometime I hope. And now, the 1993 US National It's a brand new short program for Nancy. Something that she helped choreograph with Mary Scott Bold. And she will skate to the music from Ireland called Celtic Heretics. This is really an attractive presentation. this competition with the same intensity that she has competitions in the past and understandably so opening with a double triple combination double toe loop right here and the triple toe loop double 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 uncharacteristic double axle Triple sow cow, double. Disappointment etched in her face. Abby Scottfold, her longtime coach, said this prior to the competition that uh, stamina was a bit of a problem, that Nancy had not been working on this program for the really the required amount of time. New programs are always tough to do because you don't know where your rests are. And you need to split second timing. You need to hit these jumps combination she just looked a little tentative going in the double toe loop is fine she looked like it had plenty of speed then it just didn't snap double toe loop there and then she goes well i gotta get something out of this another double toe loop 
very uncharacteristic of Nancy Kerrigan. She's a fighter. I thought one mistake, no problem. She's going to go into this. Do the triple sow count, no problem. And you can see that she just doesn't get the snap right there. It doesn't happen, double, t double sow count. But at the Olympics, she missed the opening triple flip, and she said, I'm not missing anything else, and that was it. After the double sow count, it says, here's a triple toe loop, so there. See? Ha! I can do this stuff. Abby Scottville by her side, and the marks for Nancy wow. Kerrigan. If you're Nancy Kerrigan, you're approaching this competition basically as the favorite. You look at those marks go up and you go, ooh, wince. See if the second set of marks improve. And they do 5'8", five, 5'7". Five, These keep her in the competition. She's not far behind the leaders, but still, disappointing marks and a disappointing performance for Nancy Kerrigan. That's really a shock because halfway through the first round,